Welcome engineers. My name is Travis IQ, and today we're talking about CompTIA's Cybersecurity Analyst Cert. I passed the test, here's what I think. So although I don't want to turn this into a comparison video, I do think that it's pretty important to think about the Cybersecurity Analyst CYSA Plus in the context of a couple of the other certs that CompTIA offers and also some other certs that are offered by some other organizations. And so the first thing that always stuck out to me was what the difference was between, let's say, a Security Plus and a CYSA Plus. Again, not a comparison, I'm not going to go back and forth, but if you think about it, sec the Security Plus is the fundamentals of securing infrastructures algorithms, authentication mechanisms, servers, services, passwords, physically securing infrastructures. And so this is this is very important from a fundamentals of security standpoint, and it really does inform how we analyze secure infrastructures, but it doesn't really give us a context of what a, let's say, a cybersecurity analyst does. And I think that the CYSA actually does a good job of tailoring its exam and the exam objectives to this, and I, <clears throat> I was really impressed. Uh, and then another thing about this is it doesn't do uh, a couple of things, right? It does, it's not a test for fundamental understanding of networking, although you really do need to have a fundamental understanding of relative port ranges, well-known port numbers, uh, network scanning and protocol analysis and sniffing and understanding logs and output logs from things like Wireshark or TCP dump or something like this. And so, but it's not just the fundamentals of networking. It's also not an offensive security cert. And so while you should be aware of looking for tools and offensive security indicators, right? Indicators of compromise from an offensive perspective, things like let's say Mimikatz or executables or side channel analysis or these types of things that you might do from like an offensive perspective, it's not that either. So I told you what it isn't and why it doesn't fit into these other certs, CEH, CCNA, Network Plus, Security Plus, then where does it fit? And so the thing that I thought that the exam objectives do a really good job of tailoring themselves to um, in my study and prep for the exam is I think that they do a really good job of understanding what an analyst does. An analyst does things like reviewing logs, right? Querying logs, aggregating data, understanding how to escalate issues, understanding what represents an issue and what doesn't represent an issue and why from a, from a security standpoint, from a log standpoint, from a user standpoint, from an escalation of problems standpoint, how it got escalated to you, all of these things. And so I think actually of a lot of the exams I have taken, a lot of the exams that I've prepped for, I think this actually does a good job of tailoring it towards a specific, let's say job. Right? I think your Security Plus, your Network Plus, th those don't give you a job. You're like, okay, well, what am I going to do with a Network Plus? What am I going to do with a Security Plus? Uh, and then someone would tell you, well, you could do, you could be a security analyst. You could be, uh, you could move all the way up the chain to a CISO. You could, but you need the fundamental understanding of these things. You could do application security and DevSecOps, right? But it's like, okay, that's great. But if I have these fundamentals, how do I tailor an exam to all of these things that you could do? And so what you end up with is an exam that's very broad and very thin in terms of the depth of material, in my opinion, although they do try to go into some depth in, in different areas. As opposed to, let's say, a CYSA Plus, for example, right, where it actually goes to the analyst, the cybersecurity analyst. What are you doing as a job as a cybersecurity analyst? And now you might say, Travis, you could vary from organization to organization, and some analysts have a lot of responsibility in some analysts, it's like an intro position where they're really just having you do some log retention and escalate problems. I agree, but fundamentally, an analyst is analyzing your secure environments. So we're doing baseline analysis, understanding baseline configs, understanding, let's say, fundamental behavior and user behavior and analytics, right? You might not necessarily be, let's say, tuning those tools, but you might be looking for indicators and moving it up the stack so that people can tune tools like this. You're looking at endpoint detection and response. You're looking at, at logs, logs on file, on file systems, FTP, FTP servers, logs on email servers, logs on endpoints, Linux, Windows environments. You're querying logs. You're looking at SQL and other databasing logs, right? And you're understanding the queries of those logs and what they look like. You're correlating the data, timestamp data, and understanding the time sensitivity of different data types and different infrastructures, right? So for example, let's say a 
an email phishing campaign is scary. And if your users are clicking on these links, it is something that needs to be investigated, but it is not the exploitation. That's the initial vector. Right? If you see something like an exploit that is reaching out to, or some malicious code that's running, that's reaching out to a command and control server, that's much more time sensitive to you as an analyst. And it should be prioritized as such. So if I, if I tell you, hey, you need to give me a priority for a command and control server, uh, you know, a, a log that indicates command and control server reach out to a malicious domain versus a, an email phishing campaign where three users at, out of a 30,000 employee environment clicked on these links, you're obviously, going to if you're obviously going to prioritize the latter first. And so these are the things that we need to think about. And I think that it actually gives a good platform because there's such a great fundamental base in terms of what this analyst does. There's such a great fundamental understanding of what you would be doing from a job perspective for this type of cert. I think it lends itself to uh, more relevant, more, uh, let's say, intuitive and more interesting scenarios that you can present to to, to users within that infrastructure. So to uh, to testers, to test takers within that infrastructure, right? Or to people to, to people who are studying for this this type of cert. Um, and so as a result, I know that I've uh, I've had good things to say about certifications before, and in fact, I have a good I have good things to say about this certification as well. I will have bad things to say in the future. Don't worry. If I take a bad test, you will know about it. But in this case, I thought I think that it does a really good job of tailoring to the audience. And if if you are in this environment or if this is the environment that you want to get into, right, security analyst and security analysis, then I think that it's really, really useful. That being said, as is always the case, engineer, break stuff, have fun, like and subscribe, and we'll get back to more tutorials after this.